Team Six Beatdown going down today. Captain Ron, back to the bait man. I'm stoked. Out here. We're launched. We're launched. We out here fishing with Captain Ron in the woods. In the, in the thicket. Gators in these woods, boys. This dude ain't moving. Yes. Oh, yes. Woo! Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. In late summer of 2020, Casey and Zach over at Six Cents, along with Ben Milliken and Captain Ron, aka Ronnie Kelly, started kicking around the idea of getting a few of the Six Cents fishing dudes together down in South Texas to chase some bass and bring you guys some awesome fishing content. Ben Milliken and his friend the Zark, Ronnie Kelly, Luke Duncan, Darian is fishing, Baxter the bait man, Casey and Zach from Six Cents, along with Brett and Spencer from the Six Cents media team, all met up in South Texas at Choke Canyon. Now, as we were making our plans, we had no idea what was in store for us. As we got closer and closer to time to leave, the entire South was hammered with an unprecedented, historic Arctic cold front. The entire state of Texas practically under ice, shut down, millions without water and without power, grocery store shelves absolutely obliterated, gas pumps empty. It was a crazy time. The decision was made to press on. We moved the trip back by a day or two, let the ice melt, and we carried on, and we went ahead with the trip anyway. Now, what proceeded to happen, as a lot of you are undoubtedly already aware, Ben Milliken and his friend the Zark had one of the most unbelievably historic days of bass fishing ever captured on camera and our trip ended up turning into a two lake excursion starting in south texas but ending out west that's right we hit two big bass lakes choke canyon and oh ivy i'm going to be bringing you all of that footage here in this series team six beat down the team six getaway the texas takeover whatever you want to call it this is going to be video one in that series I'm super excited to bring you guys this footage several of the guys on the trip caught fish of a lifetime there were multiple dds multiple share lunkers, multiple lake records broken, and probably easily a hundred other fish between the five and 10 pound mark. It was an insane trip. Throughout this series, I'm gonna be bringing you guys some stuff that you've never seen before on my channel. As mentioned, I'll be fishing with Ronnie Kelly, Baxter the bait man, the owner of Six Sense Fishing, Casey Sobsack. We're gonna get out on Luke Duncan's new boat. We're gonna fish with Darian, and I'm extremely excited to finally bring you some of this content. All of us in the same place at the same time. I'll be dropping links to all the guys' channels down below in the description, so make sure you check them all out because there's going to be some incredible content dropping from all of these dudes. Personally, I didn't catch any share lunkers, but there were some massive fish caught by the team. As I'm sure a lot of you already heard, Zark caught a 16 plus. You kind of had to be living under a rock to not hear about that one. And while we didn't personally catch any share lunkers, we did get into some really nice fish. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that I have never boat flipped that many big fish in one day before. You guys are in for a treat. This OH Avi footage is going to be killer, but we're kicking it off in this one from Choke Canyon. Shout out to Six Sense Fishing for putting this amazing trip together. This entire video series brought to you by Six Sense. Six Sense Fishing, SixSenseFishing.com. Use promo code JR10 at checkout. That's going to save you 10% off of your entire order. Also, Waterland, WaterlandCo.com. Same thing, JR10 for the win. That's going to give you 10% off of all the angler born, quality built, polarized fishing lenses. Also brought to you by TheHeaterZone.com, the one stop shop for all the J Royal merchandise. We just did a massive restock. We have all the hoodies back in stock, t-shirts in both designs, larges, XLs, 2XLs, 3XLs, as well as hats and stickers. So if you guys were interested in scoring any of that, if you were waiting on some of the bigger sizes to come back in stock, they're all there, live and direct in full effect on theheaterzone.com. Shout outs to all the guys who caught share lunkers and broke their PBs on this trip. There were some incredible fish. You guys are gonna see some incredible footage from all of these awesome people. And this is just my portion, my little segment of the adventure. This was my first opportunity to fish with any of these people and I'm extremely excited to bring you guys along for the ride. So without further ado, let's rip off to South Texas Choke Canyon fishing with Ronnie Kelly, Baxter the Bait Man, out in the woods with the Gators. Let's get into it. All right, we're here, we're here. South Texas with the boys, Team Six beat down, about to go down. I'm here with 
Captain Ron, Ronnie Kelly, Baxter the Bait Man. Super excited to bring you this content we have coming. First day down here in South Texas. Stoked to be fishing with Baxter the Bait Man for the first time as well as Ronnie Kelly. Team 6 Beatdown going down today. I'm excited. We're going to be throwing chatter baits, swim jigs, swim baits, maybe punching, flipping some bushes. But yeah, I'm stoked. I'm ready to hit it with Captain Ron. Yee! Got us content creators over here jacking around while Ronnie does all the real work. Hey man, I got this. Kind of like Burger King. You get to have it your way. Almost like you do this for a living or something. It's weird. It's weird, huh? It's weird. Granola bars, man. You guys and your granola bars. <laughs> you guys <laughs> and your granola bars. <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm, I'm starting to get pumped. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, check out the new hats. By the time you guys see this, the new hats will be live and direct in full effect on theheaterzone.com. Scoop yourself a lid. It's one of the new designs right here. Ronnie's ready to go. Getting out on Captain Ron's bug. Dude! Yes. The man, the myth, the legend, Captain Ron. About to go put us on him. Team six, six cents getaway. Let's get after it. Out We're here. launched. We're launched. Ripping. Oh, I hope I don't fall. Me, Captain Ron. Baxter the bait man, dude, it's going down today. It's about to be on. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's rip. Keep your eyes peeled for alligators. There's usually some over there. Ryan said there's alligators. Haters in these waters, boy. Haters in these waters. All right, you ready, Kevin? I'm about to take off again. Water temp was 57 degrees. Nice you out here fishing with Captain Ron in the woods. In the, in the thicket. Yeah. I don't know if you got the door. The water's right? That's what's up. Gators in these woods, boys. There's gators in these oh, woods. Well, as you can see, we're back on the trailer. We're gonna head to a different spot of the lake, upriver. It's about an hour to an hour and a half by water, but if we trailer there, we're gonna save a lot of time. So we're gonna try to find some calmer water, some cleaner water, and some hungry fish. Feels good being out here with the old Catamaran and Bateman for the first time. And Team I Six found takeover. Some baits hey, hey, he did. He found some baits. I identified the baits. Yes, correct. Good move. Yeah. Yeah. Not one bass trailer. Well, we made it to the next spot, waiting on a boat to get out of our way so that we can launch. I'll try to fish uh, some calmer water, some clearer water upriver off the main lake. Let's get it. All right, so as you can see, we're in some different terrain now. So do the new ones. but I'll take it. It's a bite. We're in the river, so we're catching whites. First one on the day, and it's not a largey. Let go, my boy. He won't let go. Later, buddy. BFO. Both hooks only. Nice little chunk. Right con that time. That's two for your boy. 
stuck him with the crack hammer I got from Dairy Queen. All right, man. First choke, large mouth right there for me. Not bad That's at a all. Fish. Yeah, it's a pretty fish, man. You healthy. Right. You ready, buddy? Go tell your friends we're coming. All right. Bit over or a little bit on. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yes. Bax is on a white. What? Look at that boat flip, baby. All right. Not a large mouth. But we got some bass in the boat. We got a bass. On the chatterbait, too. Yeah, They're busting that chatterbait. I think my man Roy had to pick one of them large mouth off. Hooked up. Show it to him? Yeah, we're gonna show it to the people. You notice the difference. Yes, he's got clear blade. We're both throwing a whitish color, man. He's got that spunk shed on the back. But uh this little stuff plays a little bit sneakier, a little bit more finesse, man. That seems to really like that one. It's busting on out. There we go, he smoked it. Yeah, he smoked it. White bass, huh? He hit it so hard though. Is it the same bass? Yeah, white bass, same bass. Same, same, white bass, the same bass, the same thing? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. You just blew my freaking mind, man. Yeah, the same thing. Dang, I did not know that. How did I not know that? Well, you learn something new every day. Go up the river, fools. So we put a few in the boat. A couple of wrong ones, a couple of the right ones, and we're idling up river to a different spot. This dude over here just got him a white. We got into a few whites ourselves. Back snagged one. I got a couple. Got a couple largies in the boat though. We did find a couple green ones. So stoked on that. Catamarans put me on them so far. They're eating that little that little stealth blade jackhammer with the spunk shad on the back. And that's been the deal for me so far. So I think I'm gonna ride with it. Thinking about picking up that swim jig a little bit, see if I can draw out a bigger bite. But that little small profile stealth blade is working for me so far. So, yee. Off to the next spot. Hopefully, find some more fat girls waiting for us or an alligator. Ronnie said he's going to hand feed an alligator with some pork beef jerky. I love pork beef jerky. You okay? You okay, brother? My bad. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, dude. I had a bite and I straight jerked it away from him. I owe you one now, or you owe me one, one or the I'm other. Good, man. Drop, the hook in you, man. That's what I was about to say, man. I'm just glad the hook didn't get in you. That'll be a badass video. I'll put you get it right out. Oh, now we're now we're real friends, Kevin. That's right. <laughs> Blasting you with the chatterbait, man. Did you think that uh flip coming? Boat flip's on its way. That's a bass. Dude, oh, yes. Jake. Oh, yes. Woo! That's Whoa. what I'm talking about. Yes. That's the right kind right there. That's her. Yes, sir. Boom. Captain Ron. Aye. Aye. Yes. That is Seems awesome, like, hey, baby, get in my belly. Sweet. How about that? Captain oh, Ron yeah. got hold of a nice one. Nice fish, man. Nice pre spawn fish, girl. She pulled out of that creek. I'm betting you right now that fish. Pulled right out of the creek. I'm gonna throw her back. Y'all good with me throwing her back? Yeah, you're good, bro. Go ahead. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Are y'all ready? Captain Ron got one on the prawn. Oh, hey, you didn't even see it coming. Dude, I was on the, on the way back. <laughs> I was on the way back. I crop dusted that second. <laughs> Sweet. You All right. me out with the release, like the read option in football. I thought it was going that I way. Saw, oh, I saw it. He pulled the hey, flea flicker man, on you. you. Hey, he pulled the flea flicker. You know, nice, bro, dude. Nice as one of the day right there. Whip. My, that four pound fish whipped my ass. I don't know if y'all noticed. <laughs> she that, was yeeting. Bro, I couldn't. I was trying to reel. Like, On the move. Let's keep fishing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start punching. So, we just caught that fish in a mat of grass. 
Mel, Justin, I don't think Justin, you haven't like punched grass a lot, have you? Never. Dude, freaking awesome. So Never. first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with this bobber stopper. These are not six cents bobber stoppers, so they kind of suck. These are the old Amazon uh, phone 99, are you out of your mind? I get to your So you gotta board. put two of them. So I put two of them to just, the deal is I don't wanna be messing with that weight, dude. I want that weight to stay there uh, where I put it. I don't know. That dude right there, one ounce of tungsten, that's six inch. Yeah, it's punching that code. Cameron 10, he okay. didn't know. JR10 for the win, Bateman. Is it Bateman or Bateman 10? It's just Bateman. Just Bateman for It's bats. just Bateman. So you got multiple ways hey to guys. Save the, secure the heaters and save the bread at the same time secure over here with this bunch. Now I'm just gonna top out. So some people like get all wrapped up in the snail knot snail deal, knot, dude. Yeah. There's no way it matters. <laughs> Bro, when I cracked so that is. rod at 7,000 <laughs> pounds per square inch, I don't care how the hook's tied. If it's in his mouth, he's coming in the boat. So we're just gonna go the old Palomar, just regular old Palomar. I do do it a little bit different though, dog. So check this out. Y'all watching? Out. You guys watch this right here. This is the most important part of it. I got my loop, about to go through my other loop. Now what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna keep that finger in there. See how I'm okay. doing that right yeah, there? Yeah. All right, well, what's tricky about this is I'm gonna go boom and I'm gonna secure my oh. knot. That way I know my lines are staying Straight. side by yeah. side. So then, you know they're not twisted. Right That's there, nice. bam. Oh, that wasn't how I was supposed to do that. Yeah, because keeping those lines from getting crossed yeah. is one of the one of the most important things, right? Yeah. So we're good on that. Can you hand me the scissors, please? Thanks, sir. And that is bait rigging. Bro. With Captain Ron. <laughs> bait rigging. Let's do it. Man, I'm glad you caught that fish. My battery just died again. That's crazy. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I hate it. I knew Dude, you were going to no say that. Clue. Bro, I'll throw a, like a three-year-old temper tantrum and like throw my rod down and stuff. And so what's real important about this bait right here is you don't really want that hook to come out. Because the way that this hook's designed is when the when the line grabs the hook, the shank of the hook and the line are straight. Well, that, that point's coming up. So that line's coming straight out of the fish's mouth and that point has nowhere to go but into that mouth. So you don't want to act kind of tech expose or anything. Okay. You just want to leave it at a really Just good bury angle. it. Bury it and you, you can kind of fill the hook. Okay. You don't want too much because you're punching grass. You don't sure. want to sit there. We're going to tighten that and then, hey, don't forget, most important. Appendages, boy. Spread the flaps. There you go. All right. Sweet. That's it. Thanks, Captain Ron. You got it, dog. All right. We're ready to go. Fresh punching setup, courtesy of the Captain. Ready to rock and roll like a booty hoe. Hopefully, I can flip into something. And... That's a fun bite, dude. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm gonna tell you this: if you catch one doing this, this will be your. It's gonna be. It's gonna be it's, the new it's, jam. It, it's so addicting. Exactly where I live. And I always say, well, I don't have a PO box, but I just got a home right. If you set right there, then you're in trouble. It's okay to lose one or two, you know, when you first start doing it, you just kind of get the feel. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to wait for is something that I know is a bite. That way I can kind of get a feel. A lot of times you get the very bottom of the mat and they'll pick it up and just hold it, but you'll be able to tell because you'll come and you'll feel it. If you watch, like, sometimes tack me in there, they feel that one ounce weight and they go. Yeah, if you feel the devil thump a lot of times, they don't. It's too it late. Loaded. I only throw crack hammers and banjo minnows. Yeah, I like your old school. Motorcycle videos. Oh yeah, moto vlogging back in the day. No more of that for me. I'll break a whole lot less bones fishing. So we're only out on so check it. I don't know how it look. Good. Thanks, Captain. That's funny. That's a large size lizard. Yes. You guys probably can't see that on the GoPro, but there's a gator laying on the bank over there. Ronnie said it's probably like the one of the smallest gators he's ever seen out here. It's a good 
six, seven feet long, easy. Gator. Oh. <laughs> He's the alligator boy. Captain Ron's taking us on the gator tours. Hey there, boy. Here, kitty, kitty. Dude, he's so cold he doesn't want to move. Poor, poor little felly. What are you doing, buddy? Watch, he's about to run. Y'all don't freak. He's going to run right at us. But he can't. I mean, we're in a boat. Dude, he ain't moving. This dude ain't moving. Straight chilling. All right. This is going to wrap up day one on the water. Cap Ron, Ronnie Kelly. Baxter the bait man. I'm sure a lot of you out there who watch my channel are fully aware of who these two gentlemen are. I want to give a big shout out to Dude, thank you to Captain sure, Ron dog. for letting me Thanks fish from your boat, for bringing me and Kevin out here. It's great to fish with Bax and Ronnie for the first time. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. We got a long idle to get back to dry land, but man, I had fun out here. We got a few fish in the boat. Ronnie caught the best one of the day. That's the way she goes. I'll see you guys back on dry land. Going out today with the man himself. Casey Sobsack, Six Sense Fishing. Team Six Getaway, the Team Six Bonanza. Here we go, Casey. Here we go, Casey. Oh, God. Yes, yes. Smoked oh it. Got a runner. Digging? Dump him? Boat flip. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Boy, that's another tank right there. That's bigger than the last one. And there that was, guys. I hope you enjoyed this day one of the Team 6 Beatdown, the Team 6 Getaway, Team 6 Bonanza, the Texas Takeover, whatever you want to call it. Video one in the books. And check this out, guys. As you saw there at the end, in the next video, we are fishing with the owner of Six Sense Fishing, the man himself, Casey Sobsack. That's right. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing that. No share lunkers in this one, no massive fish, but we were able to get on a few out there at Choke Canyon. Choke was rough for us. It was tough, man. The, uh, the Arctic weather really messed the lake up. It was blown blown out, really murky, muddy water. All the grass was picked over from all the thousands and thousands of birds out there that were eating the hydrilla, and it was just tough fishing. But no worries, because we're gonna head out on a little redemption mission in the next video with Casey, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy what you see. And then after that, we're packing up, we're rolling out, and we're headed out west to OH, which is the stuff I know you guys really wanna see. And yes, we ended up getting on some amazing fish. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, fishing with Casey, fishing with Luke and Darian, out there with Captain Ron again, throwing a rig on the live scope smashing tanks on OHIV. Subscribe to the channel and stick around so you catch all the future action. I can't wait to bring you guys these videos. Make sure you check out Six Sense Fishing, Waterland, and the Heater Zone. Use my code JR10 with Six Sense Fishing and Waterland or scoop yourself a piece of J Royal merch. Help us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting so far. Don't sleep on the new hats. Shipped out a ton of hat orders this morning. Just remember when you support the Heater Zone, you are supporting small local business run by yours truly. It's not drop ship from some warehouse somewhere. All the inventory is right here. And when you place an order from me, your item is immediately packed and shipped with care by yours truly, not from some warehouse in the middle of nowhere by some guy that you've never seen before. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's supporting the heater zone. If you were waiting on a restock of the larges, the XLs, the 2XLs, the 3XLs, the stickers, the hoodies, the hats, now's the time. It's all there. It's all ready. Check out the heater zone. Once again, that's the very top link down below in the description. Can't wait to bring you guys the next video. I think you're really going to like it. Out there on the water at Choke Canyon, fishing with Casey Sobsack. Stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It means the absolute world to me, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.